LiveWire's distributed audio video. This video will go over distributed audio video, what that means, and the practices we follow at LiveWire to make it happen. What is distributed audio video? Distributed audio video, as the name suggests, means that audio and video are distributed throughout an entire house or building from one central location. So what are the benefits to having distributed audio video instead of having the components set up in each room? First, it helps to make things look more organized. There aren't multiple cables coming down from the display in each room. Second, it allows a source component to be used in multiple rooms. Instead of having to buy a DVD player for each TV in the house, one DVD player could be used for all of the TVs. This can save some money. Finally, since a lot of customers like to have one control system for all of their components, they can use an advanced home automation control system remote via their iPad or cell phone to control all the devices in every room of the house. This video will show you what distributed audio video might look like for a LiveWire job. We've already talked about the Structured Media Center, or SMC, in the Roughen video, and we've talked about building a rack to hold the audio video equipment in the rack and equipment testing video. The rack is installed in the house in the same location as the SMC. Since we want a central location for all of the source components, it only makes sense to have those source components in the location where their signals can be distributed throughout the house. This video is going to explain how the signals from each of those source components are distributed throughout the house. For example, how does someone watch a movie in the bedroom when the Blu-ray player is located in the rack downstairs? This is how it works. Within the rack, in addition to the audio video components and power strips, there are devices known as matrix switches and transmitters. In each location in the house where a signal is desired, there is a device known as a receiver or ballon. Looking at the big picture, a signal will travel from the source component to its transmitter, to the matrix switch, to a receiver somewhere else in the house, and finally to the display that is connected to that receiver. Let's look at how that happens. Each source component, such as a DVD player, Blu-ray player, or a cable box, is connected to its own transmitter via an HDMI cable. Each transmitter is then connected to the matrix switch with the CAT5E6 or 7 cable. The matrix switch is going to make sure that each receiver is only watching one transmitter at a time. Remember those CAT5E cables we ran from each room in the house to the SMC? Well, those are now going to be used to connect each room to the matrix switch. For each location in the house where a signal will be sent, a CAT5E6 or 7 cable is run from that location to the matrix switch. So far, we see the signal running from the source component to the transmitter to the matrix switch and then to each room location. The CAT5E6 or 7 cable in each room location is connected to the receiver in that room. Finally, the receiver is connected to the display in that particular location with an HDMI cable. So HDMI cables are used to connect the source components to the transmitters, and HDMI cables are also used to connect the receivers to the displays in each location. CAT5E 6 or 7 cable is used to connect each transmitter to the matrix switch and the matrix switch to each receiver. So going back to the question I asked at the beginning of the video, how would someone watch a movie from the bedroom when the Blu-ray player is in the rack downstairs? Now you know. The signal from the Blu-ray player travels to the transmitter with an HDMI cable. Then it travels through a CAT5E 6 or 7 cable to the matrix switch. From there, it travels through the CAT5E 6 or 7 cable that is run through the walls to the bedroom. That CAT5E 6 or 7 cable is connected to a receiver and the receiver is connected to the TV. That is how distributed audio video works.